Yo, what's up, dudes? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, wanted to take a second of time before tomorrow to get a quick video out for you guys to understand a little bit more of my uh, thought process and my expectation and plan from October 14th moving forward. If you guys are watching this video, my name is Joe Fails. I run a Twitch broadcast at twitch.tv slash Joe Never Fails, centered around helping average players, the average Joe, uh, both inside and outside of gaming. Uh, when I was a kid, I fell in love with RPGs, and five years ago, I started playing MMORPGs in a really sweaty way. I've started playing games like Final Fantasy XIV, Elder Scrolls Online, Star Wars The Old Republic, Black Desert Online, a little bit of Arc Age, uh, a little bit of World of Warcraft, and... Uh, right now been playing a lot of black desert however uh about six weeks ago i heard about a new game coming out new uh the re-release of arc age in arc age unchained and i wanted to make a video about why i have decided to play arc age unchained and support this video game with my broadcast on twitch um personally i think that mmos are an unbelievably popular genre of games but they're really difficult for the average gamer, um, more casual gamers to get into in terms of video game play loop and lifestyle centered around playing. If you have a job, if you've got a normal nine to five, uh, you get home, put your briefcase down, sit down in your, in your living room and you go, hmm, what do I want to do? Play a video game for eight hours straight? Not a lot of people have the amount of time. Not a lot of people have that interest in that type of lifestyle. It's easier to jump into games like, you know, Fortnite, FPS, you know, a little bit of league, whatever you want to do. But for people that do enjoy MMOs, um, the idea of an adventure, the idea of a battle, the idea of a war, the idea of a journey is really appealing for a lot of people. And that I think that those types of games that showcase that, that offer those uh, little pieces of content and unique draws and pieces of content for players should be showcased. They should be highlighted. They should be sh supported the best they possibly can. So for me, um, as somebody who's played a ton of MMOs, or a ton of M MMOs for a lot of, a lot of time, um, I wanted to take a look at this game. I had no idea about the depth of content, the depth of the gearing system, the depth of the gameplay, um, what type of expectation I should look forward to in terms of guilds, longevity, progression, etc. So I started watching videos and to be very honest, uh, as a broadcaster, I was scared. I was worried because I got excited about it. Uh, it looked like a fun game. I've played Tab Target before, going from Action Combat in Black Desert Online to Tab Target in Arc Age. Doesn't necessarily scare me. Uh, you know, graphically, I'm not that superficial where it's like, oh, it's not as pretty as Black Desert. Okay, that's all right. But, but what about the content? What about the game? I saw naval battles. I saw PvE VP, you know, fighting other guilds over world boss content. I saw siege, um, PvP everywhere from the leveling to end game. And all of this stuff is interesting to me. It's exciting. It's getting my blood pumping. I'm thinking about it more and more. Um, when talking about broadcasting a video game and choosing to represent and choosing to advertise as much as anybody wants to or doesn't want to admit it, a video game by going live in that directory I do worry about the people that have decided to support my stream over the last two and a half years um, going from and starting off on a couch in Final Fantasy 14 to taking a, a roll of the dice and deciding whether or not I, I could actually survive as a broadcaster outside of the Final Fantasy 14 directory it was a risk uh, it took time it was successful I got more confidence personally to play a bigger game like Black Desert Online, played the game, lots of ups and downs, started small and, you know, got attention, negative and positive, got attention in that directory. But long story short, the people that have been supporting my stream come from that directory right now. I, I got out of debt and put a down payment on a house because of the supporters in the community in that directory. So do I, did I want to say, yes, let's go play? It wasn't as simple as that. I, I, I was scared that I would not be able to support. I don't know what the future holds in that directory, but I also don't want to disrespect the people that have been supporting me up until now. So it's a risk, but a lot of careful consideration goes into saying at the end result, yes, I do want to support this game. And the reason why, yes, I do want to support this game is that I believe you guys as MMO fans and as MMO players at home 
should be aware, uh, should see, and should also want to participate in the content that will be available in this game. Um, I don't know what the future holds. If we look at actions and actions are an indication for uh, the next outcome as opposed to words, like talk is cheap a lot in MMOs. We've heard this a lot. We've heard the idea as the, if we're actually going to be realistic as MMO consumers, no pay to win, et cetera, no pay to win. We've heard that a lot from games like Black Desert and then the situation has changed. We've heard that a lot from Arc Age with Tryon and the situation has changed. I don't know what the future holds. I can't talk about that, but at this point, for me, the the when I decided to go hardcore and start making my six month to a year plan, and I'll tell, talk to you guys about that in a second. When I made my plans for Arcage, it was when they decided to remove. And this is news if you guys don't know. There's a developer stream three or four days ago in Arcage, um, and they basically talked about everything that was going to be available, and and costume gifting was brought up, and chat went nuts. Chat went. They went absolutely crazy, screaming pay to win, pay to win, pay to win. For me personally, we'll talk about this later. If you guys ever want to pick my brain, feel free to come ask. But I don't person I'm not personally bothered by pay to win. I like the fact that people that have the financial opportunity to support a game can. It's frustrating for people that can't, that want to play, that want to compete, for them to be separation, for there to be separation between the two. Um you know, for kids that want to come play, that want to kick ass, but can't keep up with an adult with a job. I understand the frustration. Um, but for this specific example, what was available in the game was I could go into a cash shop, buy a costume and gift it to a friend. I would love to do that if I have the chance to give it to a homie, somebody who might not be able to buy it on their own. I'd love to be able to give that away. Give away to the stream. Easy peasy. Love that. However, if I was to buy those and then scam somebody, not me, but if someone were, or if I was to just sell it in the game, that would be another avenue for income generation outside of the game itself, which would be considered pay to win. Upon hearing that, like 30 minutes later, they took it out of the game. They removed it. They removed it. I loved that. Um, listening to the way that um, they talked about communication with the company that runs this game that actually makes the changes, you know, the community team and everybody can only do so much in terms of gathering feedback and then sending that feedback somewhere and expressing needs and wants. And then most of it's outside of their, their personal control. Um, but talking about that communication between, you know, the people that play the game and people that make the game is very, is very transparent at this point. I like that. That's all thumbs up. I've seen that a lot with Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls, Black Desert Online, Star Wars The Old Republic. I've had a chance to talk to devs. I've had a chance to talk to community uh, community reps and managers. And it seems like everything is all thumbs up. I want to support the game. Uh, I hope you guys want to check the game out. It's tomorrow, October 15th. I'll be doing a stream on my on my channel, twitch.tv slash Joe Never Fails. I'll be doing a stream before the, uh, the queue goes live. And... Uh, I'm going to stream as long as I can. I'm going to showcase the process of what somebody like me, I, I don't have general knowledge of this game. I have a very, very, very small amount. I have experience of MMOs, but like a lot of you guys, I don't know what it's all about. I'm going to be diving in and putting in a lot of hours in this game to understand it and digest it and be able to clearly, quickly, easily, and effectively convey information that is vital to you guys so that you can play in your free time when you do get out of work and have more fun in your free time when you escape to your MMO worlds if you're fan of if you're fans of MMOs. Over time I'll become more proficient, over time I might even learn way more and I'll be able to answer more people's questions, but at the same time, uh, I'd like to be able to use the traffic from the stream to showcase and support other Arcage content creators. Um, and there are a lot of really quality content creators, people that have been playing Legacy for five years. They have so much knowledge. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. I know this video is a little bit longer than I want it to be, but hope you guys are hyped up. I hope that you don't hold it against me for playing another game for a little bit of time. Um, I will be playing on launch and taking every day by day from here on out in terms of the schedule of the stream. It's kind of up in the air, but I will wake up every morning and ask myself the question, what game do I want to play today? Black Desert? or Arc Age. 
and uh whatever it is we're going to play on stream so uh i hope you guys tune in looking forward to seeing you in chat and uh see you guys on the 15th